Have you been seeing all these headlines about seven planets in the night sky in February? Well, I want to give you the tools to see them for yourself. This is the bright night sky, because I live in New York City, and that's all I can see. These articles love to say that the planets are in a line, just like it's from Hercules or something. Brothers! Titan! Unfortunately, nothing as dramatic as that. They are in a line, but it's a curved line across the night sky that we call the ecliptic. And that's nothing special either, the planets are always on that line. Also, they say seven planets, but let's go through them all real quick, starting with Uranus and Neptune, which are too faint to see with the naked eye, so we throw those out. And Saturn and Mercury are so close to the sun right now that they're only visible right after sunset, and it's not really going to be dark enough to see them. So you can try, look towards the sunset, and they're going to be just above the horizon, but even I struggle to find them. But let's focus on the ones that we can find and starting with Mars. Mars right now is next to these two bright stars, the twins in Gemini, Castor and Pollux. So it will make a triangle. Look for this triangle in the night sky, with the point being red, Mars. Then if you follow along, you're gonna see this kind of V shape for Taurus, the bull. That V is gonna be trying to Pac-Man eat Jupiter. And finally, Venus is gonna be towards the west, gonna be the brightest thing in the night sky. It's gonna be easy to see. I'm gonna try and look for these planets this weekend with my friends, and I hope you do too. Okay.